Hello, good morning, and welcome to another vlog. So I actually haven't vlogged in a very long time. The past few videos I've done have been more like planned videos, so they're not really vlogs. So I feel like I just haven't vlogged in forever. So hello, I hope you guys are doing well. I have been obviously very busy with my shop. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would know. But yeah, I'm still finishing up some stuff from my last restock of the collection I put out in January. I'm almost done with it. I have one more dress to do and then the patchwork tanks to do. But I ran out of thread for the red dress yesterday and I'm gonna go later today to get some. So we're gonna work on the patchwork tanks today. And since so many of you guys always ask me how I do my patchwork and all of that, I thought it would be good to film this so you guys can kind of see how I do it. There's not really much of a process to it, I don't think. I kind of just put random pieces together and hope it works and then like, I don't know. You guys will see, but yeah. So that's what we're gonna do today is pretty much just do patchwork stuff because I know a lot of you guys really wanna see how I do that because obviously that's a really sustainable way to get rid of scraps. And it's also really trendy right now, which is a plus. So we love to see it. Anyway, I do have these two dresses to package up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll get started on patchworking. Okay, now that that's packaged up, I'll go to the post office later and then that's when I'll go get thread as well. I just like to do it all at once. It's a lot easier than having to go out twice in a day. So that's that. Let's start on these patchwork tanks. I have the black ones to do first from the last launch and then I'll start on the like Valentine's Day-y ones. It wasn't even intentional to do them Valentine's Day themed. I just genuinely had those colored of scraps because those are the colors I tend to wear and love anyway. So it just fit in with the season anyway. So that's kind of a plus. It was not necessarily planned. It just worked out that way but here is my big like bin of scraps i actually don't have that many left these pink ones are from a custom order i did i'll put a picture up here if i have one but yeah that's from that the red is also from a custom order i did which i'll also put a picture up of here and this pink one i actually bought as a remnant at joann's being like oh this is really cute i want to make myself something and then i never made myself something so yeah this one's super soft like you have no idea how soft this is it is so cute cute so comfy i love this color too so that's where my scraps are from and then the black and white are from the black and white t-shirts that i made in the fall i still have quite a bit of scraps from those so so that is what we're working with um in case you were wondering where the scraps are all from so i have three black and white patchwork tanks to make and then i have two of each of like the pink red and the other pink so not too much but also it does kind of take up a lot of time to patchwork especially because for the white i don't have too many big pieces left so i'm going to start patchworking all of these smaller pieces which obviously takes longer for the examples that i made for my shop of these three as you can tell here i used really big pieces of like the white and the pink and red so they were a lot easier to sew because they're small like they're bigger pieces so there's not as much to sew but i am running low for the white so i'm going to start patchworking smaller pieces but the pinks and actually the red is also pretty small but the two pinks are going to be easier because i still have pretty big pieces of them so that's that i'm going to go ahead and get started i'll time lapse this so you guys can kind of see the process of it and yeah As you guys can see i've been cutting them out in the form of the actual pattern piece already so that's kind of where we're at obviously this isn't perfect so then i'll put it on here and then cut around it to make sure it fits perfectly onto the piece but this way is so much easier when you have such little scraps left because it saves them really well sometimes i do make a whole patchwork piece and then cut this out of it but i find that this saves me a lot more scrap and it's more efficient but it is definitely a little bit more time consuming sometimes but also sometimes not depends on like the pieces you have so i'm gonna take this and then cut it out and continue adding pieces where I need them and yeah that's kind of the process <music> Thank you. 
first top it low-key took me a very long time since I have smaller scraps left it takes longer to actually put them together but I wanted to show you guys really quick what it looks like obviously I still have to iron it out and put the tag on it and you know cut off all the excess threads and whatnot but this is the front and this is the back so obviously each one is totally random and totally different some have more black than others others have more white than others it kind of just depends on what I feel like doing but that's what I really love about these shirts is that you genuinely get like a one of a kind shirt and nobody's is the same and it's super fun because it's kind of like a you don't know what it's going to look like when you get it so kind of a surprise deal so kind of fun but yeah that's what they look like that's kind of my process behind them and yeah it kind of takes a long time if you have smaller pieces it takes a lot less time with bigger pieces which you'll probably see with the pink and red ones but yeah I love these a lot and I'm glad that you guys like them too because it's such a good way for me to get rid of like my bigger scrap and then I'm really only left with like all these smaller scraps that I can use for all of my like zero waste clutches and stuff like that but it saves so much fabric it is incredible and i'm so glad that you guys like them because it's so good for me for my business and obviously for the environment so it's a win-win for all of us and i love that so i'm going to continue working on the other two and then we'll get started on the ones from this last collection so it is a lot later. I had lunch. I went out to the post office to drop off the two packages I packaged up this morning and then I went to Joann's to get the thread that I needed. So I got that and whatnot, but I also got a little package that I want to show you guys. I'm so excited for this. So as you guys know, I've obviously been trying to shop small businesses myself over the past year or so, maybe a little more than a year. I don't know, but I've really been trying to be intentional about all of the purchases I make for them to be sustainable and ethical and to support small businesses. Obviously I'm not perfect and yes, I use Amazon and yes, I like buy from big corporations sometimes because I think it's impossible to only shop small sometimes, especially like depending on the area you live and whatnot. So yeah, I just want to preface that because I'm not perfect and I don't want you to assume that I try to live this perfectly sustainable lifestyle because I do not. Um, but I'm doing my best to kind of implement that more. So I've mentioned multiple times I'm moving out here in like three weeks or so. So I've been getting a lot of stuff for my new place. A lot of my furniture has been like secondhand and just trying to shop decor from small businesses and stuff so one of my I guess friends like internet friends I don't know there's people that I've just been following for a while and follow me back and like we talk all the time but I've never actually met them kind of people I guess internet friends um she started her own small business with hand poured soy wax candles and they are so cute I got this little cute one low-key they smell really really good and I'm obsessed with this and she also threw in an extra which is so nice she gave me one of the really beautiful like feminine ones that she has. I love these. These look so beautiful when they're burned and she's put so many videos up of them burning and like dripping and they look so beautiful. But at the same time, I'm like, this is so beautiful that I do not want to burn it and I don't want it to like get smaller. So part of me is like, oh, I want to keep this for decor forever, but obviously I would like to use them and burn them. So eventually in my new house, I will actually use them, but I'm going to keep them like this for now. But yeah, I just want to shout her out because she's incredible and you should support small businesses. And I want to try to tell you guys as many small businesses as I can from the ones that I support and love so check her out at soul candles it's my friend Hallie she is so great she's also a super talented photographer and has a photography page if you guys want to check that out she also just is really great person again I've never actually met her but from what I can tell she seems incredible and she has the most beautiful like uplifting messages with everything she does and I really appreciate that in other artists so definitely check her out anyway we're gonna get back to all the patchworking and stuff so I'm in the midst of one right now that one's kind of coming along this person wanted it a little bit longer so that's something that I'm doing obviously since everything's made to order in my shop if you want some things to be a little longer I can make them longer if you want it to be shorter I can make it shorter whatever it may be I can definitely customize whatever you need to it if that's what you'd like so I'm making this one a little bit longer which is gonna be really cute I'm excited but yeah I'm gonna try to finish that so let's get to it
it is much much later i kind of forgot i was vlogging today i literally already had dinner showered and have been working more i finished the last dress that i had to do since i had the thread earlier so i got that and i'm currently working on the last black and white patchwork top so i'm gonna go ahead and film that and then tomorrow we're gonna start on all of the pink and red ones and hopefully get those all done and out of the way and then see if i have enough to restock i might but i'm not entirely sure so we're gonna see and yeah let's let's make this top hello good morning it is the next day i kind of um spaced out again on vlogging last night the rest of the top but i also just didn't finish it i am like halfway through the back side of the last black and white one and then i'll be done i have the front side finished so so i'm gonna go ahead and finish that first and then i'm gonna go ahead and package those up as well as two scrunchies orders that i got and the dress that i still haven't packaged up so i'm gonna get those packaged up and out of the way once i finish this one and then we're gonna start on the pink and red ones which hopefully should be a little bit faster and easier because i do have bigger pieces of them so it's less sewing that i have to do to patchwork it together so yeah i'm gonna do those today and then try to figure out if i have enough to restock and if i do then i'll do a little restock later this week but yeah that is the vibe for today so uh, let's get to it the last black and white patchwork tank i'm going to show you all three so you can see like how fun and different all of these are these turned out a lot more black than white i feel like the previous ones i did i added more white than black but i'm realizing i'm running out of white and i used the white for the other one so i had to add a lot more black to these but yeah i'll show you guys here is this one i really like this one i think it turned out really cool then there's this one which is the one that's like a little bit longer this one's really cute too. This one turned out really cool. I think they all turned out really cool, but you know, that's just me. And then there is this one. So I really like how all these turned out. I think this might be my favorite like batch of them because they're much more intermixed with the black and white. I feel like the other ones, like I said before, had a lot more white to them just because I had a lot more white scraps. So I was like, oh, I need to get rid of more white. So I put more white on the other ones, but now I'm putting out other tops with the white. So I was like, oh, gotta like save my white scraps. So. That's that. I'm gonna go ahead and package all of these up and then we'll get started on the pink and red one. So I just got them all packaged, they're right there. And I'll take them to the post office later today. But let's start on these other patchwork tops. I'm gonna start on the light pink ones. And I think I might actually have enough of that to make more. So I'm trying to get some done before I post today so that I can kind of see if I'll have enough and then I'll like hopefully announce that I'll make more. But yeah, let's get to it. I'm gonna start those. <laughs> I got the two light pink shirts done and I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and package them up and then go to the post office and take all the other packages too just to get them shipped out and so that they can start getting sent to people in case people want them for Valentine's Day like obviously that wasn't necessarily the intention but it kind of turned out that way so I want to make sure they get out ASAP and then I really only have three more to make because I'm still waiting on measurements for one of the tanks so I'm gonna have three more to make after this which I hope that I finish later today too but I know I'm not gonna get them done in time to go to the post office later so I want to take 
those two while I can and then come back and do the other ones and take them tomorrow. So that is kind of where we're at with it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and package them up. So I went to the post office and I've been on my computer for a little bit. I'm kind of just not feeling like sewing right now. I've been so drained the past few days and yeah, I just need a mental break. It's been super cold out, super snowy and gloomy out. So I've kind of just felt that and I've been super tired lately and it's really hard to motivate myself to get stuff done. But I am gonna go ahead and work on some social media stuff. I don't have a lot of posts planned for this week and I kind of want to make some TikToks and video content with some of the stuff that I've been filming like for this vlog and for past vlogs and just make little like montages of me making all the stuff. Since I do have all this footage, I want to like put it to good use elsewhere other than just YouTube. So I'm gonna try to do that for a little bit and then we'll do the tops later. I am just so <laughs> tired right now and don't wanna do them, but that is okay. We're gonna do them regardless, but I'm just gonna take a little break, do some stuff and then get back to it. Hi guys, it is the next day. I am literally doing the worst job at vlogging this week. I feel like it's been so long since I actually vlogged that I just don't remember to do it. So you didn't miss much because I literally only made one of the red tops, which you watched me make. So you really didn't miss anything. I ended up doing some TikTok work, computer work, and all of that stuff later that night. So yeah, you actually didn't miss anything. So. I didn't do too bad of a job at vlogging. I'm gonna go ahead and finish out the other red top that I have to make and then do one of the dark pinks. I'm still waiting on measurements for the second one, so you can't do that one, but I'm gonna get these last two done and out of the way, and then we might actually start on the next collection and stuff, so that's kind of the vibe. I don't know if I'm gonna include that into this vlog or if I'm gonna do a different vlog of that, but let's get started on this second red top. So here are both of the reds all done. They turned out super cute. This one, I'm start I started running out of smaller scraps, but I kind of wanted to keep the same vibe that I did for all of these. So I just patchworked them up to make it look the same. So from far, it looks like they're big pieces, but they're actually smaller pieces. So really like how these turned out. I think they're super cute. So now I just have one more to go since I'm still waiting on measurements for the other one. And then I'll be done. And I'm very excited. I just really want to get working on the next things because I move out at the end of the month, which is soon and obviously I'm gonna have to take like a weekend if not like a few more extra days after that off to actually settle myself in get everything organized and ready and get myself like prepared to actually be able to work again in my new space so I'm trying to anticipate that and kind of get things ready to kind of go along with that timeline I don't necessarily want to like take a break from my shop but I want to have stuff out or like stuff that I'm about to put out or something so that there's still something relevant going on but yeah so that's why I really want to get started on but yeah, let's finish up that dark pink one and then we'll be done.
Just finished the dark pink one. This one was a lot faster since I had only big pieces of this pink left. So pretty cute. There's that. Now I'm officially done, but it's almost 12, so it's almost lunchtime. I'm gonna do some email stuff and then we'll get started on other stuff later. I might end the vlog here and do other stuff in a different vlog just because I wanna separate it out because I know a lot of you guys always ask about how I make my patchwork and how I do it. And obviously this wasn't necessarily a tutorial, but you can clearly see my process. So I might just leave it at that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe if if you're not already subscribed so you get notified of whenever I post new videos because I do post weekly and you don't want to miss it. Also feel free to check out my Instagram so you stay updated if I do restock these or if I launch anything similar soon which I definitely will. I feel like patchwork things in my shop are always going to be a normal thing um, because that's just a very sustainable way to get rid of fabric so definitely be on the lookout for all that and yeah that is it so I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!